righty, uh, fire away. Bryce, what, what can you tell us about, what's your excitement level for the opportunity to maybe transition or get a good opportunity to transition into a starter's role? And how did that process begin? What, what did you think the summer was like for you in that transition? Um, yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, I haven't started since high school, but um, as I've gotten older um, through college, I've developed more pitches and become more comfortable with all my pitches. So, um, yeah, going into the summer, that was my main focus, you know, getting back into that starters mentality and um, getting ready to go in the season or when the fall comes around. And what do you think? Oh, okay. I was happy with with how the how the summer went. I had. I mean, overall, I had a good summer. I had one bad outing that did not go as planned, but um, you know, I learned 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 something from every start, and I'm I'm happy with where I'm at. How much was uh, your focus through the summer in working backwards, working on some of those secondary pitches to be able to see the second, third round in the lineup, as opposed to what you're doing at closing? Yeah, that was definitely one of the main things. You know, um, just. You know, whenever I was closing, it was like come out for one inning and just go go all out every pitch and not really worried about about showing all four pitches, you know, in one inning. But um, this summer, you know, I had to kind of plan for that and, you know, go first time through fastball, fastball slider and then break out the curveball back at the end. And, um, I was I was definitely happy with where I'm at um, with those pitches. And it was definitely a good experience this summer to um, get get more comfortable with those. Bryce, what would be the key to winning a job, to winning a, a weekend rotation spot, Bryce? Um, I'd say, you know, I've the last three years of college, I've just been, I've been a short, you know, I've been used short. So my main thing is going to be being able to be consistent and stay strong through like after 50 pitches. Cause you know, I mean, last two years at A&M, the most I've thrown was three innings at Kentucky. So, um, It'll, it's definitely going to be a change, you know, stay, also staying focused for a longer period of time instead of just all at once. So those are probably going to be my main things. Bryce, is this the deepest pitching staff you've been a part of here at a and uh, It's hard to say, you know, we, every year coming in, it, it's, it's, it was different just because my first year, it was kind of, it was my first year, my first time meeting everybody and, um, looking, you know, looking up at Docs and at, and at Asa, um, but this year is different. You know, it's we got a lot of new guys, but we also got a lot of guys that are like that we know we know what they got, and we got a lot of guys coming back. So um, we're definitely very deep. I, I'm very excited to see how the fall goes and how everything plays out because we got just about every spot open in the rotation and for the whole staff. So it's it's going to be interesting. How do you uh, approach your, your leadership role, you know, out in the bullpen with, you know, guys that have uh, had great stuff and, you know, really never had the adversity? You know, uh, we heard about Minich in an opposite field home run yesterday, probably against a guy who's never seen a pitch leave the yard that way. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's – we've we've discussed that. You know, it's, it's uh, one of the main things for a lot of the new guys um, is going to be – you know, facing adversity in the fall because most of these guys that come in, they've, you know, straight out of high school where they're, they were their best pitcher in high school and, uh, or in Juco, you know, they kind of dominated high school and Juco. So um, they're going to have to, you know, find a way to, to deal with adversity because they're not, they're not, they're throwing against way better competition now. And that's something that everybody has to know and everybody will go through throughout the fall. Um, so we've definitely discussed that. And, you know, it's, it's it's different for me because I'm I'm used to you know being in the bullpen and um, being down there and now I'm I won't be down there like as I normally am for the fall at least so it's it's definitely been a different type of role for me but um, getting used to it. Bryce, how is this uh, fall start of practice different than years past with where you guys have COVID and everything going on and the fact that. You know, last spring you guys got the season cut short, so you've had a longer than normal off season. I mean, just you know, how's this different than you know? Yeah, no, it's it's definitely been way different. Um, you know, we had that long break since the season got cut short, and luckily we were able. A lot of us were able to get out and play some summer ball and just kind of get get games going and get you know back into somewhat the swing of things. But um, even still, the fall has just been 
very like slow and you know we've been kind of spread out and just things are different you know we we haven't had as much of an opportunity to get to know the new guys so it's it's been kind of it's been it's been tough just to be able to you know put names to faces and figure out really who everybody is instead of where normally you know we're around them all the time and you know we can go hang out at houses and stuff but this year is different so that's really been the toughest toughest thing is just getting to know everybody but we're getting used to it you know it's been about a month or month or two now since we've been back so it's it's getting normal but you know we're still we're, we're, we're working through it does it make it do, do you get are you that much more i guess anxious to get these scrimmages going and get through the fall the fact that you know you said it's kind of a slower start you just you guys just itching to get out there and play yeah for sure i know i mean especially i was i was fortunate enough to go out and play for the bombers this summer so i was able to kind of get that get that feeling a little bit but there's obviously nothing like throwing at olsen and you know with with everything normal with the with the stands the stands pack so i know me and everybody's very excited to get to the season but um we got a lot of work to do before then and we're just we're happy to be able to be able be able to get out here and scrimmage and have that opportunity so um we're we were, I had a lot of fun yesterday with the first scrimmage but looking forward to the next few days and the coming weeks Bryce, what, what does having a more veteran ball club do for you guys? Yeah, it's it's it'll definitely be good. It's it's an interesting, like we have a lot of guys returning, but we also have like you look at the whole freshman class, like we have from last year, we have all of them coming back, but they also haven't had any experience in SEC play. So it's like they're returners, but they're kind of not. So it's like it's it's interesting, but it's definitely. It'll definitely help. You know, we got we got guys that all throughout the lineup and all throughout the staff that have thrown many, many innings and, you know, have been in tight spots and aren't out there, you know, for the first time with those first time jitters. So it's it's good. It's it it helps them out, it'll help the team out and it'll help out the new guys. Just it'll be able to help them learn and, you know, see what what they need to do whenever they're they're in those situations. Bryce, what uh what do you remember about your your best high school start? Do you remember anything going back that far? Uh, yeah, I had a start against um, East Central in high school that I went the whole game. I think I gave up. I don't think they scored. I don't know. I was high school. I was mainly focused on hitting and playing outfield. So it was, it was like I'd go out and throw, and you know, then I'd come in and worry about trying to get a hit. But um, I also my senior year, I was, I was. Most games I would go six, seven innings, so I know I I, I can do it because I I did it in high school without really even training for it. So, um, it it's it's been it's fun, you know, thinking back on that, and that's that's where I want to be again this year. So it's it's exciting. Bryce, how intriguing is the idea that Trevor Warner might also at least compete to make the same transition as a guy who was a back end guy in the short season last year? explosive, explosive arm. And then now he looks like he might be trying to, can you take us through just how intriguing that, that proposition could be of Trevor Warner, maybe trying to compete for becoming a starter. Yeah, that's, that's an interesting, uh, interesting deal there. Um, he's obviously an extreme athlete. Um, I think, and with, I mean, a crazy arm, he just, it'll be interesting to see what, how it plays out. Cause he, I mean, he didn't really throw that much obviously through what two innings in the season last yeah. year and then got like three innings this summer. So I don't, I don't know how it'll be interesting to see how, if he can start and play the field or if they're going to have him, you know, play the field and then start like on Sunday, that way he can play and not be sore Friday, Saturday or, or what, how it's going to work out. It'll be interesting, but it, it'll definitely, I mean, I definitely think if he focuses on it, I think he can do it because he's, a hell of an athlete, but see how that plays out. I, I think if I'm starting, it'd be it'd be good to have him in the back end as a closer, also just to have that have a guy come in throw 98 right out of the field. But who knows? Yeah. We'll see what happens. No doubt. Ross, how does your uh, training uh, change from being a, a reliever and to now trying to extend yourself out and and be a starting pitcher? Yeah, main thing, main thing I've really 
focused on is um, whenever I, so as a reliever, you know, I'd come in and I would throw bullpens. Like right now I'd be throwing bullpens, but they would be short and I'd be trying to be more explosive and not really focused on throwing, throwing long. But now, you know, the last few bullpens I've thrown have gone up like 40, 50 pitches. So that's the main thing that I've been focusing on, just being able to hold velocity and hold, you know, endurance throughout the whole pin and go longer. And then also just throwing more. I've always been a guy that long tosses quite a bit. And so I haven't been taking really any days off throwing wise, just maybe one day a week take off from throwing. But other than that, you know, get out there and keep my arm moving, keep long tossing and being ready to go. I've been also a main thing trying to gain weight, which I've been trying to do for forever, it seems like, but I've actually put a little more emphasis in that. And I'm, I'm, the heaviest I've been right now also. So I think that'll definitely help going into the season. Um, if I can have more weight on and it'll definitely help going deeper into innings and throwing more innings throughout the season. What What's the heaviest you've been? What, what are you weighing in at now, Bryce? Uh, I was 197 this morning. So what's I'm, the goal? I'm trying to be like 205 last season. So 205, 210 max, which it's been difficult putting on weight forever. And I'm finally been able to see some, some movement in that area. So uh, I think I finished the bomber season at like 185. So I'm actually moving up for once. Um, I'm happy with where we're at. I think most of us are experts in that weight gain area. So let us know if you need some tips. <laughs> All righty. Thanks and gig them. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Bryce. Thanks, Bryce. Yes, thanks. Man, we're having fun here now. Come on, boys.